Okay, so it's eyes down for a full house on this 6x6 bingo card. Well, what can I say? Um, this card, I think, out of all of the kits on Creative Issue 2, this has got to have the deepest, most amount of layers on any card that I've done for quite some time. Um, it's great, it's very very colourful and oh, I, can't, I couldn't even begin to count how many people um, I know, young and old, that actually got to bingo that you could send this one to. Um, again, it's a great standby. Um, it's just so colourful that, you know, it's just a riot, isn't it? Um, and if you can you can actually add um, glitter and you can add glossy accents to this to your heart's content. So if you're, you know, if you love doing that kind of thing, then this card is perfect. So let's go ahead and get started with the construction. Um, uh, as you can see, there are lots and lots of elements to this card. Some that you probably won't use, um, some that you, well, you may want to try and get as much of this on as you can. Um, there's a little gift tag. Um, that I probably won't use, maybe might put on the inside of the card. There's two um, different backing papers on this one. There's um, the, the Starburst one in blue, which we had a um, the Mr. Businessman, similar to that one, actually it's the same one. This one you could literally just layer over if you wanted to, and I think this one is quite good because it does mirror some of the shapes, um, does mirror some of the, um, the, the the sparkles and that kind of thing on this one. So it could be that I might actually use this one. I haven't on my sample. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'll decide when I get around to it. So, in fact, no, I'm not going to. There you go. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's just great. Um, there's loads and loads and loads of bits, bits that you can use. Um, you won't obviously use all the sentiments, you've got to get well soon, you've got your lucky day, there's a congratulations. Um, but I'm going to just use the, the birthday one. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's start then with our base card, which is a standard 6x6 um, white cardstock, um, created from an A4 sheet of card, cut at 148 by 148. So that's my standard size, I always make my own. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll stick that to the front of our card. I may turn it round like I did on the other one, just to give it a bit of extra effect. Yep, I think we will, and I didn't actually take that one up. Yeah, right, wet glue then. Okay. Okay, dukes. So make sure I've got my card the right way around. Could actually do a tent fold. Actually, should we do a tent fold? Yeah, I think we will. Just for a bit of a difference. There we go. So that goes down like so. What do enable you to be able to move it around if you aren't happy with the borders that you've got around it? Okay, so we've got that. And then we have our strip that goes across. Now, before we do that, just noticed, let's get our sentiment tucked underneath that little strip. Okay, now on the sample, can you see I've actually tucked it under. So I'm going to do the same thing on this one. So position it about the same. So I'll just measure approximately about there. And I think that should do us. Okay, so we'll get that across the bottom middle of the card. Like so. Okay, likey likey. So we'll get our first layer on, which is our actual bingo topper. Again, I've already padded that up to start the, the dimension going. So I 
haven't actually counted how many layers there are on this, and I'll we'll soon see. Once again. And in the middle, make sure that you've got some stability in there and it doesn't cave in. So over to the right, I'm putting it to leaving it a gap down there so I can get some extra embellishments on there and overlap it there. Like so. Okay, so the first layer of our decoupage will go in there like that. So that's layer number one, layer number two. Off with the pants. I think Bingo has, um, has had a bit of a revival. I remember once when it used to be the, the preserve of the older lady. My granny used to go to Bingo. My mother would never never consider even going to bingo because it just wasn't the thing um, but now bingo seems to be something which all age groups go to and not just women either also men go to bingo too okay so that's number two so this will be number three so theoretically if you know somebody a bloke who goes to bingo then you know, ideal cat for him too. And line the tip up again. Let's see. Always anchor at one point, and then you can just manoeuvre your layers. Okay, that's number three. Number four. So it looks like it's five layers of decoupage on this. That's uh, that's quite a mean feat. So once again on that. Line the coin up, and then your final layer, then your fifth layer. Is your forty-five and forty-seven. And bingo! Ha ha! You were just waiting for me to say that, weren't you? To add the Big number 21, which again could be perfect for somebody who's just turned 21. And we'll tuck that in the corner like so. Okay, we're nearly there. So that looks as though it might be a slightly a bit of a wonk. Okay, now we've also got some smaller bingo balls here um, that come on the kit. Now, I'm not going to use those ones, I don't think. I used the larger ones on my sample. There. I just punched those out using um, a five-inch circle punch, five-eighths circle punch, I think, for that size. Um, but I'm actually going to use the smaller ones. Now this was, I think, the three-eighths circle punch that fits this size. So I'm only going to put those. I'm going to just stick those down on there now. And shall I put them raised up on foam pads? I think I will. I think I will. So move that to one side so we can get some little foamy pads out and just give them a flick over. That's one. Number 27. So I'm not sure whether you can hear some strange noises coming from through the wall. Um, but if you can, don't worry, it's not mice or anything. I believe Ian is actually baking. I'm in the craft room and he's in the kitchen. I think he's actually baking something, so I'm not too upset with the noise. Okay, so red one to the top, I think. doesn't matter which way around you put these because they're supposed to be cascading and falling anyway. So... I'll stick number 27 there. And then finally, blue number 42. I'll stick that there. Fantastic. Really cute. Ah, of course, you can't see that, can you? Right, let's just finish off then with adding a few little drops of glossy accents, I think, on 
one or two of the coins. So that one there, just to give it a bit more depth and shine. And then a little glossy accents on two of the bingo balls there. And on that one. So that's all three of those. And I think that'll do us. I think we could maybe add a little bit of glitter. Now what have I got? I've got two different types there. Let's try some of this. Let's see if there's any of that left in that bottle. of glitter on the outside just to bring some of those sparkles to life of course what you could do is just use a, a um, little glue pen and then sprinkle some real glitter over but I think that sends, sometimes it tends to the static tends to make it cling where you don't want it to just about everywhere that I want to put some. I think we're done. There we go. And there we have it. Our Bingo Bonanza 6p6. I hope you enjoyed watching the demonstration and you'll have a go yourself and I hope you'll join us for the next video for kit number nine. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.